Hey guys, um, so here we go. Um, this is the start of um, covering nine sections in seven days. We can do this. Um, so today we're gonna cover chapter 11, section one, um, and this is going to be over circumference and arc length. Um, and if I want you to pause if you don't have your formula sheet. Um, this is gonna be really important to you. You can use this on your test um, if you fill out all of these formulas. Basically, these, these last two chapters for us are, um, actually I'm gonna stop share so you can see this better. So this, print this out. These last two sections are um, going to be um, pretty much all, um, see, a form, see a picture, know which formula to use, plug numbers into the formula. So it's having a formula and knowing how to use it um, is what these last two chapters are going to be about. So we are starting that today. Um, so we're starting with circumference and arc length. So what is circumference? For those of you that have never heard of circumference before, circumference is the distance around a circle. So as you can see here, um, we, we use C um, for circumference. So um, you can see circle C right there. On your on your sheet, circle C. Um, that's circle circumference. Um, that's what we're using. So the distance around a circle, distance around a circle. So um, C is equal to the circumference of a circle is C is equal to pi times d, and pi is a number. Um, a lot of you have probably heard of the number pi before and have had a lesson over it, I'm sure, on what we call pi day. Um, but pi on your calculator, if you're looking at your calculator, is second, um, and then the button that you use for an exponent. So right under clear, so second, and then the button right under clear is pi. Hit enter, 3.14159264. Um, and that's the short version of pi. Pi is infinitely long. So we're going to be using pi, um, but we are going to keep our answers exact. So we are not going to plug them into our calculator. I just wanted to show you where, where pi is. Um, so c equals pi times d or c equals 2 times pi times r. So most of the time you'll hear it just say c equals pi d um, or c equals 2 pi r. So and D is the diameter of a circle. So if you have the diameter, then you can find the circumference. And R is the radius. So um, if you don't have the diameter, but you have the radius, then you can, also, you can still find the circumference of the circle. You just double it, two pi R. So either way, whichever one you have, um, you can find your circumference. Um, so now let's talk about what arc length is. So uh, arc length is a portion of the circumference of a circle. So basically we've been talking about arcs some already, but arc length is different than the arc measure. We've been finding arc measure, but the length is a little bit different. So um, it's a portion of the circumference of a circle. In a circle, the ratio of the length, um, of, the length of a given arc to the circumference equal to the ratio of the measure of the arc to 360 degrees. So basically we'll be able to find arc length using a ratio. And that ratio is this right here. So arc length of AB, arc AB, which is what we're trying to find, uh, divided by um, this, the circumference, two pi r, is equal to the measure of the arc, so whatever the measure of the angle is, remember we can, that's the measure of an arc, divided by 360 degrees, which is how many degrees there are. So basically the, the ratio is from this center right here to the whole circumference. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically what it is. <clears throat> and we can simplify that um, by just saying what we want to find. And so we'll multiply times two pi r. So the measure of uh, the arc length of AB is equal to the measure of arc AB divided by 360 
times 2 pi r. So um, times our circumference. So the measure of the angle, so measure of arc AB divided by 360 degrees times the circumference. Um, it's really important to know that there is a difference between arc measure and arc length. Arc measure um, is just basically the measure of the angle um, that in, inscribed. So knowing that, let's do these examples. So um, I hope that you wrote down um, both of your um, equations on your, or your formulas on your formula sheet, um, and we will jump to these examples. So go ahead, you can pause this, write them down, and we'll get working. All right, so here we are um, at our first example. So what it said was we need to find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of five inches. So I went ahead and wrote the five inches. So we need to find the distance around the circle. So here's our formula sheet. I've got my formulas on here. And what I did was I actually highlighted what I, the formula that I'm going to be using the most, which is this one. Um, and these, both of them are really, are pretty important, whichever, if we have radius or diameter, we'll use either one. So we're finding circumference. So C equals pi times D, which was the five inches. So what, the way we're gonna write our answer is we're keeping it like this. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your constant first and then pi. So five times pi. That's our diet. That's our um, circumference. That's the distance around the circle. Um, keep it like that. Don't plug it into your calculator. Keep it exact. These are what we're calling exact answers, and we want them to be exact answers. So keep them. Keep it. Keep it that way. All right. So that's our number one. Number two says, find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 17 feet. So C equals 17 feet. And we want to find the diameter. So the diameter, so we have, so our formula was C equals pi times D. So this time what we don't have is D and that's what we're trying to find. So C is 17 divided by pi times d, or equals pi times d. And remember, pi is a number, so we can divide by it. So we'll divide by pi. So the diameter is equal to 17 divided by pi. And that's how we're gonna leave it. So on some of your homework, um, they, they might, if, you're, if we're using Khan Academy, they might ask for, um, decimals and you can plug it in if, if you, um, if that's what they ask for, but on a test or stuff or anything from me, um, this is, this is how I'm going to want you to leave it. So leave it just like that. All right. So let's look at our next examples. So, uh, you can watch me draw this probably super poorly, but that's okay. So looking at number three, so we have a diameter going across our circle and we've got our radius coming out this way. This is 75 degrees. This is R, S, P, Q, and our diameter is nine yards. And what we're asked to do is find the arc length of arc PQ, arc PQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. That's what we want to find. So that's our goal, arc PQ. All right, so get out your formula sheet. So what we need is we need the measure we need the measure of the arc times the circumference, 2 pi r, or pi a times d, either way. All right, so the arc length of PQ, I'm gonna say arc length of PQ is equal to, so I'm gonna go ahead and just write 
um, write the formula. So the measure of PQ divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Um, actually, I'm going to write this case what we have. We have the diameter, so pi times d. All right, and now I'm just going to plug numbers into it. So the arc length of PQ is equal to, so the measure of arc PQ is 75 degrees. So 75 degrees divided by 360 times pi times r diameter, which is 9. And then we'll just simplify from there. So 75 times 9. So this is going to be, come over here, 675 times pi over 360. which is the same as 15 pi over eight. So what I did was I simplified this fraction right here. And the way that you can do this, I'll teach you, teach you a little trick. So I have my calculator. So on my calculator, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 675 divided by 360. And that's gonna give me a decimal, but like I told you, I don't want decimals. I want um, exact answers. And so the way that you can get the fraction version of this is you can hit math and this FRAC frac is means fraction. So if you hit that math fraction of the answer, equal to 15 eighths. It gives you the simplified fraction. So a little trick for you if you're learning how to use your calculator. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, so here's our next example. So um, you you probably drew this um, on, your, on your page already, so I, I know that's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry. Um, so that is actually the arc length, 61.26 meters. So we already have that. So what we're trying to find this time is the circumference. So if you remember what I said was that this two pi r is our circumference, right? So that's what we're trying to find. We don't know this. So times c is what we don't have. But we have the arc length. So that is 61.26 meters is equal to the measure of the arc, so which is 270, divided by 360 times C, which is what we don't have. Um, so I'm gonna divide both sides by C. So we'll have 61.26 meters divided by C, yeah, these are degrees, 270 degrees times 360 degrees. Okay, and then the multiply, basically divide both sides by the arc length is the next algebraic step there. So we'll divide, multiply by 61.26 meters. It's kind of multiply by the reciprocal. Um, can't see that, sorry. So what I did was I multiplied um, by this so that I could cancel this on that side. So one over C I mean that's super complicated. Let's not do it that way. I'm gonna go back to this step. I'm sorry. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip and multiply this instead. So flip and multiply. Um, so what I'll be doing is multiplying both sides by 360 over 270. which is gonna cancel it on that other side and leave us with C. All right, so let's simplify that. So 360 divided by 270 times 61.26, math one, so simplified fraction, 
is 2042. So you can't see that super well. 2042 divided by 25. Yeah, so I've, I've been told that the book is going to use kind of dirty numbers a little bit, and um, I'm sorry about that, um, but that's, that's okay. Um, just leave it as a fraction. All right, let's look at the last one. All right, so here's our last example. So this time we are given an arc length again and we need to find the radius. Um, so what we need to find is the radius. So we're given the arc length, so that's the 10.5 feet. Um, I'm just gonna leave it simply. Is it equal to the measure of the arc, which is 150 degrees? divided by 360 degrees. And what we want is we want the radius. So this is times two pi r, which is what we want. All right, so I'm gonna start with the same step as the last one that we did. So multiply by the reciprocal of that. So 360 divided by 150 times 10.5. So leave 2 pi r by itself over there and get the simplified fraction of this. So 360 divided by 150 times 10.5. Simplified fraction is 126 over 5. And we'll divide both sides by 2 pi. So that cancels. So this is some algebra steps that we're going to need to probably review. So what we're doing is it's gonna end up being 126 divided by 10 pi. which is simplified to 63 over five pi. So let me pull out and show you, show you that step that I did. So I had 126, um, over five, and I divided by the two pi. All right, so this algebra step, I made this uh, basically what's called a complex fraction. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal by the reciprocal to cancel that two pi on the bottom and just be left with what's on top, which is 126 over five times two is 10 pi. So that's where, that's where that came from. So that was that math step, if you needed to see it. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Um, bring your questions to the Zoom meeting. Um, remember, we're gonna be flying. So try to keep up.